So the first thing you're going to do is just get two boxes and you can get them similar to the size box that I use. This one is 16 and a half inches by 7 inches by 11 inches and then my smaller box is 11 and 3 quarter inches by 8 inches and 4 and 3 quarter inches. And then I just fold it in the top portions of the box and on the smaller box I just fold it in one side then just take your favorite baby shower wrapping paper I'm using this animal one from Hallmark it's a heavyweight gift wrap and here's some more information then I just measured out some wrapping paper because I'm going to completely wrap the box. And you can see how I cut the edges off so that I can fold this inner portion into the inside of the box. And then I just used invisible tape to tape down the one side. And you can see how I folded the corner in and then taped it in place onto the box and did the same thing for the other side. Then just take and place the portion that you cut off and tape it to the inside of both sides of the box and use your invisible tape to secure it. Then just fold up the sides and tape them on both sides Then take and cut down each edge of the opposite side. The one flap on the left will go across the box and then you can cut the other flap off. This is what it looks like so far. So we're not going to put the left flap over until we've worked the center flap first. So go ahead and fold that center flap in first and tape it in place. So for mine, I went ahead and cut off the left flap and the right flap because I didn't want the animals to be upside down. So I'm going to use this left flap and the right flap to finish covering anything on the box that may be exposed on the sides and this is what it looks like so far. I'm not as worried about the inside because we're going to be putting the blankets and stuff on the inside. So now I have the one box wrapped up and like I said the center is just going to be covered with a blanket but if you wanted to put some more wrapping paper in the center you can if you wanted to. And then for the upper portion of the carriage I'm going to wrap the box the exact same way so you can see how I cut the panels. So I just folded up the one panel first and then just tucked it into the box and then just taped it to the opposite side. And this is what my box looks like so far. And I can just take and cover any remaining portions that of the box that are showing with the extra wrapping paper that I have. Now you have the top of your carriage in place so I just set the box right on top. And you can see how it looks inside. It's completely covered. And now I'm going to tape this top box in place using some packing, clear packing tape. So now I'm going to show you how to make the tires for your carriage. And you can pick whatever ribbons that you want. You can see how I put a baby ribbon around the carriage. And my ribbon is by Celebrate It 360, some of my leftover baby shower ribbon. And then I had some leftover ribbon from Valentine's Day. So I used whatever leftover I had just to kind of decorate the top. Then I have this beautiful ribbon here. This one is by Ofre, and it has a really neat design on it. So I'm going to use that to wrap and tie the diapers together. And you're going to need a strip of cardboard for each tire, because you're going to tape it to the underside of the carriage. 
you want the diapers to be used so I'm not going to tape or do anything to the diapers themselves so I had size 5 diapers a pack of 27 and I just kind of evenly distribute them some piles may have more than the other so you can use whatever ribbon that you want to tie around the diapers and you can see that I'm using my leftover baby ribbon for the front of the diapers. Make sure that you cut the amount of ribbon that you need and then just take the diapers and fold them over and then just tie the ribbon around the diaper. Then you want to take and put the cardboard piece on top of the diapers and then tie a knot around that. Then you can tape the cardboard down on the underside of the baby carriage. Make sure that the diaper wheels are even. Then I just used scotch tape for the ribbon that goes around the center of the diaper wheel. You can see that I'm running out of one so I just put enough so it shows on the front of the diaper wheel. So this is what mine looks like when I'm finished and I'm just going to show you the underside. So here you can see how I taped the cardboard to the under belly of the carriage. And then also I took one packing mailing tape around the tires to keep them from hanging loosely. And now on the sides of the packing tape I'm going to put a little bit of a decoration from the leftover wrapping paper that I have. And this is what mine looks like after I'm finished. It looks really good. You can see where I put the little cutouts all over the tire, the tape, and then that helps when you lift it up, the tires don't fall loose. So now you can have fun and put whatever you want into your baby shower diaper carriage. You can see how I put the baby blanket in first. This is my crochet, my little tiny tulip baby blanket. And then I put my little crochet, this is my crochet sleepy bear. I have a separate video tutorial for him and you also can make the matching little sleepy hat. I also show how you can make the embroidered stitch eyes, there's separate video tutorials for that. And then this is my flower of my heart crochet security blanket that I attached a little baby book to. And then you've also got some other baby toys that you can add. So now I'm just going to wrap it with the plastic clear wrapping. You can see how I filled it with all kinds of fun baby goodies. Now the baby carriage is all wrapped up and ready to go. These are just some of the goodies that I put inside here. So there's separate video tutorials for the crochet sleepy bear as well as a separate video tutorial for the bear showing how to make the embroider eyes. And then also there's a separate video tutorial for the crochet flower of my hat flyer, flower of my heart hat <laughs> and the matching flower of my heart security blanket. And then underneath like I showed you I have my crochet my little tiny tulip baby blanket. This is what it looks like from behind, and you can see that the little diaper wheels have the ribbon around it. And you can see how I put the little decoration on the side of the diaper wheels too.